Am I the asshole? For telling my sister that neither her nor her family are welcome to celebrate Christmas with us. I am a mother of two kids 5F and 2M. I do not get along with my family. Actually I've been NC with my parents for more than 10 years. My husband grew up in the system his whole life, so when we got serious, we dreamed of having the picture-perfect family life that we didn't have while growing up. I have been doing everything I can to make Christmas magical for my small family. Every room is decorated including bathrooms, elaborate lights and decorations on the outside, I stuff advent calendars, make cookies almost every day, matching pajamas, postcards for our friends, etc. Also we go all out on gifts for our kids. I reconnected with my sister last year, we talk online and have had one face-to-face -face meeting she visited my city. She is also married with three kids all under 12, her husband is unemployed, she works retail and they have a ton of medical debt. I guess she has been going through my social media lately, and she has seen how we celebrate Christmas in our house. Then she contacted me, after a couple of minutes she said that they were planning to spend Christmas with us as a gift. I said that I appreciated her gesture, but that Christmas for us is just for our small family, we do not like to include the extended family. She kept insisting that it would be fun and that my kids would absolutely love to celebrate with their cousins my kids have never even met their cousins. I kept insisting that it would not be possible for us. Then she switched tones and started telling me that they couldn't afford Christmas for their kids, that they just wanted the kids to have a fun holiday for once. I sympathized with her, but told her again that it would not be possible for them to spend Christmas with us. Then she asked me for some money to help with Christmas expenses, I told her that we do not have any extra funds this month, but that I have a $100 budgeted for gifts for her family that I could send her. She asked for more but I turned her down. That was when she got angry at me. She said that I was a selfish bitch, that it wasn't fair that her kids would not get to celebrate Christmas while I am throwing money out the window on my vanity project of a house. I hanged up on her, then sent her a text, this is the exact text I am sorry that you and your family are struggling, but I will not be sacrificing our family traditions for your ease. I will be sending you a $100 as a gift for the kids, but neither you nor your family are welcome to our family Christmas. I will expect an apology when you cool down. Otherwise don't bother contacting me again. I still stand behind my decision to not have them celebrate with us, but I am feeling guilty for how I worded it. So am I the asshole? For using the phrase you nor your family are welcome to our family Christmas. Not the asshole. You don't have to invite her and it's pretty entitled how she tried to invite herself. You set your boundaries and put your family time first that's completely fine. Your sister needs to mind her own business. Not the asshole. She invited herself to your house so you would fund her family's Christmas. Nobody needs to put up with that nonsense. Not the asshole. Her entitlement in inviting herself or family to your home for any reason is just astounding, her audacity in going off on you for refusing her last-minute self-invitation is equally astounding. She's lucky you're still sending her the $100. You tried to state your boundaries kindly. When that didn't work, you were clear and explicit. She should have taken the gentle no as a no, instead of trying to force a yes. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I am feeling guilty for how I worded it. You feel guilty because you are a kind and caring person. Your sister is not. You had to include you and your family to make it clear that she can't bring her kids by. You won't be getting them gifts. Please enjoy your Christmas with your family. She was clearly just contacting you to try to get a free Christmas experience for her kids. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Rough situation but you handled it as best you could. This was only going to get worse if you did something different. Not the asshole. I can see why you went NC with some of them. Not the asshole. She's not entitled to your earnings. Her debt is not your debt. Not the asshole she invited herself to your home as your gift that alone is enough to absolve you of all asshole sins if there were any. No one is entitled to your family holiday traditions, or your money. I'd be reevaluating the relationship entirely if this is how your sister acts shortly after reconnecting. No one is entitled to your money. Even family. Not the asshole you have kids, and you have an obligation to spend time with them and take care of them. After that, your obligations to other human beings ends. You don't ever have to entertain the company of others ever, for any reason at all. You don't have to give a reason. No one possesses a default entitlement to your time. You should return to NC, 
maybe consider asking the local PD to do a drive-by of your house on Christmas morning to ensure there are no unwanted vehicles or people. You are never beholden to share in the misery that others have willingly heaved themselves into. Not the asshole. She's jealous and after a handout. You've worked hard on your family unit, and you deserve your happiness without her jealousy spoiling it for you and your family. Not the asshole. That's one entitled sister you've got there. Not the asshole. I've been in this kind of family before, you never contacted them for years and when they suddenly try to rekindle the relationship with you, mostly it is flat out money issues. And I can definitely see why you NC with them. Good of you to give her the $100, and how ungrateful of her asking you for more and be mad about it you're not that close sis you might be sisters in blood but for me, family is not only blood related. In fact, there are many blood related family that hurts you more than strangers. Not the asshole she's a user. And when she didn't get what she wanted via asking. Then it was guilt trip, and then escalated to name calling. Steer clear of that one. Not the asshole your sister is totally in the wrong, well done you for having good boundaries for your little family, I feel your sister would have taken advantage. Not the asshole. She doesn't necessarily want to spend Christmas with you, she just doesn't want to spend any money. She obviously wanted to use you and your family to save Christmas for herself. It's sad. Up, you have yourself very happy holidays with your lovely family, without any guilt towards your sister. She had no merry intentions towards you, whatsoever and she was only thinking of herself. Not the asshole. You just dodged a major leech. Not the asshole your sister is one for first masquerading her attempt to use your Christmas and a gift and a cousin bonding experience and then getting mad and calling you names. It sounds like she has a lot on her plate, but that is no excuse to use and abuse you. Have a Merry Christmas. Not the asshole. You have every right to celebrate Christmas the way you want to. If that means just you and your family then so be it. For your sister to call and say they were coming was wrong. Not the asshole. You have to be explicitly clear with her. She is looking to latch on and take advantage, and you can't let that happen. There was a reason you had limited contact up to this point. She is part of that reason. Not the asshole think you handled it in the best way possible. You tried to be courteous at first and slowly had to get harsher. Don't hold your breath on that apology but you know that. Not the asshole there are charities that will give gifts to her kids. I don't know if it's too late for her but send her info on them. Not the asshole don't feel badly for prioritizing the well-being of your family, ever. Not the asshole I love how you handled it so maturely. Not the asshole. It sounds like she's part of the toxic you went NC with to begin with. Keep your distance. If she's not willing to have a relationship on your terms and respecting your boundaries, you are under no obligation to continue building a relationship. Seriously, no play dates on neutral ground, no short visits so your kids can get to know each other just straight to we're coming for Christmas like some Chevy Chase movie. Not the asshole. You are very generous in still sending her the $100. I didn't hear her say anything about giving your kids gifts. The best advice my sister ever gave me is don't let others make their problem your problem. Enjoy the time with your family. Nah. She's desperate. She's trying to save face for her kids and give them a little something for Christmas. I understand her outburst but unfortunately she has to learn that life goes this way sometimes. She's gonna have to tell her kids there won't be a Christmas this year and have to deal with their and her own disappointment. With that being said, you have every right to say no. I do feel for the kids though. I was that kid and honestly that last thing I wanted was to be at someone else's house and watch them open presents while I had nothing. Maybe it's for the best anyway. You're better than me. If someone ever called me a selfish bitch I would never send them a dime. That was very kind of you for at least thinking of her children. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If your sister isn't welcome, she isn't welcome. That said, I need some info you mentioned that your sister's husband is unemployed. You also mentioned that they have a ton of medical debt. I'm thinking that debt is part of why he's unemployed. Has he been injured become disabled, therefore unable to work? DBH, I wouldn't even bother sending the $100. I would send them resources to help them with their situation instead. Refer her to a social worker, assistance programs and the like. Then go and see and hope for the best. Not the asshole, your sister overstepped, you definitely are in the right to say no but I hope that you soften your position on not seeing or speaking to her again. Your sister is clearly desperate, probably in a much, much worse position than you realize and desperate people worried about their kids do stupid things. Not the asshole. 
She started using a plan to mooch as a favor to you, then pivoted to accusations envy. You're spot on, but even giving her a chance to apologize was more than she deserved. The bar for family should be higher, not lower. Not the asshole, you look after your family the best you have and your kids are priority over everyone ones else. What you do is to give your two little ones a lot of childhood memories and your sister can do it to hers if she wanted to. She was hoping to crash in on your family for Christmas and good that you turned it down as it would have possibly ruined it for your kids. Keep her at an arm's length and if you aren't even closer, it's better to cut the bridge while you still can. Wow that's some kind of crazy. You don't invite yourself to someone's home like that. Your sister is a piece of work. I get that she's probably stressed but she could have approached this in a better way to try to sway you. Not assume that her gift would be welcomed with open arms. Not the asshole but sister definitely is. Not the asshole she researched you in your life so she could stampede in and use you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I think you handled this about as perfectly as possible. Good on you for setting firm boundaries. Until she is only contacting you for financial support and nothing more. You did nothing wrong. Oh wow so not the asshole why is it any time someone appears to have a little more someone comes along to tear it all down and claim they deserve it more because they say so? You have worked your butt off to make this a magical Christmas for your family. Your sister's situation sucks but the idea that she would gift their presents to you so they can leech off your hard work is just tacky and gross. I hope you get an apology but I wouldn't hold my breath. Not the asshole you said no and she decided to try to blow past the boundary. The $100 was very generous and even that wasn't enough. She sounds entitled and exhausting. It's not your fault she's in the situation she is in nor is it your responsibility to make sure she and her family have a nice Christmas.